Hello, how's it going? Um, so um, I'm just going to go through uh, the steps for keeping Spark UI alive. So imagine you have this uh, uh, Spark job. When you run it, it's just going to like basically run, and uh, uh, at the end of the run, it will basically stop here, just like this. Uh, let me just run this back job again. So, um, so as you can see, we are running the, the spark job, and after everything has been printed, it's going to write this process finished with exit code zero. So if you go to Spark UI, right? Um, if you type local host forty forty, um, so it's not going to show the Spark UI, right? But when you are running the job, uh, I mean, when the Spark session is still alive, it will show the Spark UI. So in a case like this, uh sometimes you just want to basically check your job uh, uh, duration like how many how long is your task uh, taking so in that case you want to keep your spark ui alive and so to do that um what you can do is you write system system uh, dots in dot read then you write spark the spark session that you created spark session dot stop so that will keep the spark UI alive for you so if I run the application again and I will wait until it finish uh, uh, finishes running Okay, so as you can see, it's supposed to stop here, right? And write process finished, exit code zero, but it's not writing that, right? So this spark session is being kept alive by these two code here. So if you go back to Spark UI and check, you will see that the Spark uh, UI is available for you, as you can see here. So here you can go through your spark job you can check uh, the duration of your spark job so so once you what you can do to stop the spark ui is basically just stop the application so if you click here it's going to stop it so it's can see a process finish with this is called zero so and if you go back to Spark UI refresh, you see that it's stopped. So, so basically, that's how you can keep Spark UI alive. So, uh, guys, that is this. Uh, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right. Um, thank you again. Um, have a lovely day. Goodbye.